interface designer. That's the intro. That's it. Aaron, don't you want to give viewers a bit more context? Nope. I'm just so excited that we're launching this that I think we should just jump in. Welcome to Tooltips, where every week we discover new and surprising ways to use Airtable. Today, I'm going to show you a brand new way to work and collaborate in Airtable with Interface Designer. Using Interface Designer, you can turn the information in your Airtable base into custom interactive interfaces. Each of your teammates has unique needs when it comes to getting work done, and your base, which was built for organizing your data, isn't always the right place to send them. Interfaces simplify collaboration by surfacing only what's relevant for your intended audience, all while turning complex data into useful and actionable visualizations. This feature launches in beta today, and this is just the beginning. Let's explore what's possible with Interface Designer. First, we'll show how to get started creating your first interface, then talk about customizing them so your collaborators can see and edit what they need. Finally, we'll cover how to get your teammates on board in their new interface. With Interface Designer, you can give your teammates the information they need and nothing more. Let's say I want to create an interface where producers on my team can approve creative assets. To get started, select the interface in the upper left corner, then create new. Just like with creating a new base, you can choose a color and logo for an interface. Then you can choose from several pre-built layouts or start with a blank canvas. Record review is useful for triaging many records at once. The dashboard layout highlights charts and key metrics, and record summary allows viewers to focus on one record at a time to really dive into key details for that record. I'm going to go ahead with record review to give each producer an inbox for approvals. With the layout selected, choose which table you want to dynamically pull records from. In this case, I want to pull from the content table. Similar to how a table is structured, with the record review layout, your information will be organized by the primary field of the table you select. Then I can toggle which elements should be visible to my producers, like approved by and channel. Rest assured, you can always revisit or update which fields are visible later on. Finally, going to give my interface a name and description, and I'm ready to go. Regardless of the layout you've selected, you can customize it to fit your teammates needs. Add a filter to show only the content that is relevant for a given audience. In my interface, I want producers to only see content when it's ready to review and they're assigned as the approver. So I'm going to add two conditions, show content where ready to review is checked and approver is the current user. You can also add a layer of interactivity by making specific elements editable. I'll update this field so my producers can add their approval directly in my interface. From this single page, producers can toggle between items, add feedback with the comment, and approve content. And the best part, when any updates are made, say work is approved or anything else, it will update in my base in real time. You can mix and match elements in any layout to fit your use case. Here's a dashboard designed to give leadership visibility into company-wide performance. The number and chart elements represent business critical metrics at a glance, such as hires in a quarter or total revenue. The record picker allows you to view a specific subset of data from a dropdown, such as new logo based on account plans. Switching which plan is selected updates elements tied to the record picker automatically. How your work is visualized is completely up to you and your teammates' needs. With your interface created and customized, it's time to share. I can preview how my interface will look by toggling on the preview button. I can also view the interface from a specific collaborator's point of view. Once I'm satisfied with the result, I can publish to make it live. And now that it's live, I can share the interface directly with stakeholders via email and a short message. Go ahead and create your first interface with your team. I'm so glad we didn't bury the lead on this exciting new feature, and I'm even more excited to see what you all are going to build with Interface Designer.
So once you've had a chance to play around with it, come back here in the comments and let us know what you've built with Interface Designer. And we'll pick our favorite and send our own interface to order a gift on us. That's it for this episode of Tooltips. I'll see you back here next week.